Hello, this is Sanat here, and welcome back to another Dobut Sentai Juoja review. Today, we'll be taking a look at Cube, a crocodile, Cube Wolf, and Cube Rhinos, whose box isn't here. Now, these three cube animals belong to Juo the World and form Tosai Juo. They were released in June of 2016, sold individually, as you see here, and in a gift set with all three as Tosai Juo. I don't have the box for Cube Rhinos because CS Toys was awesome and offered an option to get it shipped without the box. And considering how big Cube Rhinos is, I really do appreciate it. So shout out, shout out to CS Toys for doing that because that made life a lot easier and saved me like a good 30 bucks on shipping. Alright, that is all for packaging introductions. Let's take a look at Cube Crocodile. Here we have Cube Crocodile, which is cube number seven. Now this one is one of my favorites by far, even though it's cube mode is kind of terrible. Uh, mostly because these giant uh, pillar uh, cylinder type things here, it kind of breaks up the cube look, plus you can see a robot hand on top. But other than that, it's actually not anything that shows the uh, crocodile. As you can see on the back here, it does have a waist piece and legs. You can use this as legs for Juo King, and I'll show that in a later video. To transform him, all you got to do is fold this out here, like that. Fold this down, fold this up, and now you got Cube Crocodile. Really nice transformation. It's one of the reasons I like it so much. It also just pulls off a very convincing crocodile. Uh, his mouth, of course, can be positioned in two different ways. So you can have it like that, like that, or like that. Uh, there's two ratchet clicks before it goes into a fold. So you get all kinds of cool crocodile action. Um, I also do like the way the, the uh, tail does come together back here. Really, really clever. Plus he does have little feet. That is Cube Crocodile. Here we have Cube Wolf, which is cube number eight. Now this one is such a solid cube, the only really problem back here is these two little feet pieces. Of course, these can be alternate legs for Geo King, Geo Wild, Condor Wild, whichever you want. The nice little number eight, I think this is one of the most solid cube modes. Only a couple little robot bits here and there. It's transformation, much like Cube Elephant, he kind of folds out, but really, really cool. So you got that there, and his little head. Uh, really simple, really quick, really nice. Cube Wolf is just cool. Um, I really do like him. Uh, much like uh, the Gal Wolf from Gal Ranger, it's like a really nice color scheme of silver and black, which is really neat. And he's got his little head there, he's got four little feet, and he's even got a tail. Uh, it pulls off the transformation really well. Really like Cube Wolf. Here is cube number nine, Cube Rhinos. Now, Cube Rhinos is unique in that he is by far the largest cube animal we've gotten so far. As you can see here, he is quite massive, which is why shipping him in the single-packed version of him is really expensive. And I'd highly recommend not doing that. I'd say just get the gift set. Um, at the time, the gift set wasn't available, so I ended up going with this uh, individual release. But like I said, CS Toys was awesome, took it out of the box and shipped it wrapped up uh, in plastic and everything, so safe. But it did save me a bunch on shipping. Um, but anyways, the Cube Rhinos is different from all the other cube animals in that it is not got a cube mode. Uh, literally every other cube animal has a cube mode, except for Cube Rhinos. And it was explained that Cube Rhinos was modified by the Death Galleon when they gave it to Geo of the World, and that's why he is a giant truck. Um, so we got basically two parts to this guy. We got the uh, the truck front here, you can see it's still got the rhino theme with the eyes, but he does have like smokestacks and tires, um, which is a really unique aspect. I love the number nine on the grill here. I think that's fantastic. Plus two nine, or no, just one nine, sorry. But there was another one over here, but there isn't. Um, those are really cool. And then you got the uh, trailer piece here, which is really nice, the gold paint on the black. Really cool. Um, this is, of course, Duo of the World's main cube animal. But yeah, no transformation. It does have an ability to carry cube animals. Uh, they actually do click in here. Um, you line it up just right, which I'm not doing apparently. 
If you line them up and you can actually carry uh, cube animals, you could stack even more in there, stack more in the middle. Uh, a few times in the show, and I think uh, especially in the movie, Cube Rhino just dragged all eight of the other cubes in his trailer, and then they all combined. Um, so really cool, um, but it rolls super nice. Uh, there's a couple wheels in this bottom section here, and it rolls without no issue. Plus, there is a little bit of a turning axis. My only real complaint is that the hitch is just a standard like train type connector, like the Tokuger line. So it doesn't really like click in. I would have liked some kind of uh, security system so you could just like pick it up. Like, you can pick it up this way. If you pick it up this way, it's gonna just fall apart. Overall, um, I love it when Mecha can combine in alternate ways. This is an alternate combination technically. Um, I just like the fact you can carry uh, cube crocodile and cube wolf with them. Naturally, I'm reviewing all three of these together because they can combine together to form Tosai Juo. Here we have Tosai Juo. Now, Tosai Juo, if you can imagine, is actually quite a bit larger than Juo King and Juo Wild. Um, he is just a little bit shorter than Wild Juo King uh, in comparison. And it's because instead of being stacked up with three cubes, he's got a cube for a hand, cube for a head, and this giant, like, rhino thing that has created this giant monstrosity. And when Juo the world was evil, when he was first introduced, this was a formidable foe for the Jew Ogers to try and conquer. But here we are, Tosai Jew O. Now this thing is super cool. This is probably what, what kind of sold me on the Jew Oger line, actually. So I saw this guy was coming out, and I was like, oh dang, I, I want it. I want it so badly, I ordered it the same day it came out. I usually don't do that. I usually wait with Sentai Mecha. This was the first time I was like, I need this now. I, I have to get this right away. There's there's just no there's no waiting on this. This thing is cool. Um, he's really big. He's really stocky. Um, you can stack cubes in his shoulders because there's enough space because the the carriers for crocodile and wolf. And it's just really cool. Some of the coolest details are involved with the head here. Uh, first of all, this is the only cube to form a head. This is cube eight, and you just fold this piece down. Yeah, a nice crocodile, rhinos, and wolf logos, plus the head here, which looks super cool. I love the red eyes, kind of gives them a little bit of an evil look, but also heroic if he is doing nice things. Uh, this hand here, that's why there's a hand here, because this is his main hand. You could open this up even if you want to have it fire energy blasts, which is super cool. Uh, I love how the rhino horn becomes the other hand. As you can see, it just kind of pugs onto these, which fold down from the trailer, um, which I think is super, super cool and inventive. It's just really neat. After having two mecha that were stack three cubes, stick a head on, and you're done, it's nice to get something different. Speaking of something different, he has a corresponding Dobutsu Buso series weapon in the form of Cube Komori. Now, Cube Komori is a navy blue exclamation point cube, and it is very unique. Just like uh, Cube Crocodile has these little cylindrical things here, but, you know, that, that's pretty much it. It's a nice little cube. Uh, you actually can't see any of the, the uh, Komori. Now, Komori means bat, which means when we transform this, it is a bat. It looks really cool. I love the, the gold accents here, little face. Uh, you do get some positioning with wings. Um, and they're all ratcheted, so it's like really, really nice um, and tight. Also, to this extent, it does have a weapon mode. Now, it's weapon mode. The amazing transformation, which I will show you the entire thing of laying him flat. This is the Komori Boomerang. And he does have a brand new reinforced handle, which Cube Kuma did not have, near, nor did uh, uh, Kirin or Mogura. This one will not bend. That is wonderful. I'm glad they already corrected that problem shortly after. But as you can see, he's a nice boomerang weapon. So let's add him to Tosai Juo. Here is Tosai Juo. Here is the Komori boomerang. There is the combination. Um, typically, I like putting it in this hand just because it balances things a little bit. Of course, because the other hand has the same size peg hole, you can put it over here if you want. 
whichever works. I personally just like it over here. It seems more balanced. Now, naturally, this is an all toast I duo can do. And instead of making a whole separate video for one combination, let's just go for it. Let's look at Wild Tosai King. 13 cubes, 3 full mecha, 9 animals, and 4 weapons. Let's all combine it to become Wild Tosai King. Here is Wild Tosai King, the pinnacle of the combinations for Juoger as a whole. Nothing else tops this. This uses every single piece from Juo King, Juo Wild, and Tosai Juo, as well as using all four Dobutz Buso series weapons. Everything comes together so clean here. It doesn't look like a blocky mess. Okay, it's a little bit of a blocky mess, but it's not too blocky. It's very streamlined. It's very controlled. It looks like a robot. Uh, this is the closest thing Geoger gets to a traditional Sentai Mecha-like combination. And very much like Diren O, every other cube becomes armor for Tosai Juo, essentially. Cube Rhinos makes up the majority of this, using the entire trailer configuration here, as well as the truck cab, to make the main central body. Adding on uh, Cube Shark and Cube Tiger as shoulders, as well as cube lion and elephant to raise it up cubes crocodile and wolf are added to make the arms which is why there's a hand on wolf and to bulk out the legs even further you got cube komori cube mogura cube kirin and cube kuma in addition to that cube eagle is here with cube gorilla behind it forming out the chest having place for the head which is also the same piece that made Tosai Juo's hand, and the horn of Cuba Rhinos. My favorite part of all of this is that the big wild cannon is here as a cannon, and the big king sword is here as a sword. This is fantastic that they included the two pieces that make up the heads of the other two mecha as weapons. It works really well. And the solid shoulder joints on Tosai Juo are used here, so you can actually raise this. No problem. I don't feel like anything's going to fall off. Uh, there's sometimes some clearance issues with the little cube weapons here, but other than that, you can raise the weapons, and it looks awesome. Honestly, this is my favorite part of Juoger, and even though I love other things that come in the following videos, I feel like this combination is where it got the best. But that is not all for Dobut Sentai Juoger. We must continue forward. There are a few more videos to make. For next time, we'll be taking a look at the deluxe whale change gun. Till next time, this is Sanat saying goodbye.